There's times in your life when things are going to happen that you've got to begin to put your dream on hold. And you might have to reinvent yourself. How many have already gone through that? Raise your hands, please. It's called life. And don't tell everybody about it. 80% don't care. 20% glad is you. You have to suck it up and handle it. That's what it called being in business, being an entrepreneur, being a risk taker, walking by faith and not by sight. Stuff happens to you. I think that there's a certain delusional quality that all successful people have to have. You have to believe that something different than what has happened for the last 50 yeah, million yeah, years right. of history. You have to believe that something different can happen. Yeah. Confucius said, uh, he who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. But I also know that there are some people in this room who take this ministry so seriously that you are going to move into a new direction and a new system and a new shift. And it is not what you think about God that is holding you. It is what you think about you that is holding you. Oh, that is, let me try it on them. It is not what you think about God that is holding you. You got great thoughts about God. It is what you think about you that keeps bringing you back down to playing the same role in the same movie over and over again. You will not accept God's script. God has a script for you to go by. You will not accept God's script because you are allowing weaknesses, mistakes, traumas, who didn't love you, who wasn't there for you, who didn't stand by you, to define you. And you are letting the enemy script you. And when you walk out this room, I want you to go in and I'm the best right now. He said, before you even become number one, start to proclaim it and say it long before it happened. Say, I'm the number one motivational speaker in the world. And when I was number 20, I started saying, I'm the number one motivational speaker in the world. And I went to the computer and the world said exactly what I said, that Eric Thomas is number one in the world. I spoke it, the world heard it, and it activated. Your problem is that you don't believe you belong here. Your problem is that you don't think you should be sitting down here. You have something special. You have greatness within you. That story that you have can impact people's lives. Mike Williams talked to me and it changed my life. It began to expand my vision. I'm telling you, greatness is here, but it ain't on Cam's shoulders no more. It ain't on Farley's shoulder no more. It ain't on Bo Jackson's shoulder no more. Now greatness is on whose shoulder? That's why I wake up every morning at 2 o'clock, 2.30. Because I got my mama counting on me. I got my sister counting on me. I got my son and my daughter counting on me. I got a world that gets up every morning and watches me. I got little kids who don't believe that they can do it. When they saw me, they thought now they can do it. So I get up every morning at 2.30, 3 o'clock. Why? Because greatness is upon me. Dr. King is dead. Malcolm X is dead. I'm that new guy. I'm that new inspiration. I'm the guy you look at when your daddy ain't in your life, when your daddy in prison. I'm that guy that comes to your high school and tell you, you can make it happen. Greatness is upon you. You better act like it. Greatness is not this uh, wonderful, esoteric, elusive, uh, God-like feature that only the special among us uh, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very simple. This is what I believe, and I'm willing to die. The problem with some of y'all, the reason why you don't give 120% every doggone time you get on the field, because you ain't got a why for what you do. You ain't got a why. I walk in the room, I can see some of y'all. I spoke to all of y'all when y'all came in for the most part. Why? Because I'm looking in your eyes and I see some of y'all and you ain't serious. And you think you about to go out there with the Ray Lewis's of the world? Negro, please, when Ray come out, you see the passion. Every game, you see the energy. He come out every game like, y'all follow me. Follow my lead, baby, and we're going to win this thing.